Hey YouTube, welcome back to RV Daydream. I'm on the floor with the next item. This is something that I can't imagine you get any bigger. Uh, I had people that were saying that uh, the bodega coolers that I've been reviewing, which I've done quite a few of them, uh, I had one guy say that it was a little bit too big. Um, so I, I went to a smaller one and then I had a suggestion that that smaller one um, is a little bit too small and they wanted bigger <laughs> and they wanted a dual door and uh, they were asking for a lot. And I went ahead and just got the biggest one that they offer. So let's go to the intro, come back and take a look at this. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a date. So Bodega Cooler's been around a while. We've been doing quite a few reviews with Bodega, and I have to say that this is, I, I'm thinking this is number four or five. I, I get the numbers mixed up because I, I've done one a few years back, and then I did another one, and it was a refrigerator um, that went inside of your RV uh, that would fit in place of the, you know, the normal refrigerators that uh, they have in there on the smaller, like, pop-ups uh, that run on propane or electric. Um, this one was an electric only, as is this one. Uh, you can run it off of a 12 volt power source. Uh, you can run it off of household. They give you the, the brick, the little power brick to do that, uh, which we'll show you what that looks like. Uh, but this is meant to be packed full of your stuff and it's heavy and it's big. Uh, this is 95 liters. I think that comes out to like 100 quarts and it weighs like 61 pounds. <laughs> And that's empty. So if you're gonna put this in your vehicle, you definitely wanna make sure you got somebody to help you if you've got it fully loaded with your stuff. Uh, the thing is they realize that once this is loaded up with the food in that, um, that it's, it's you know a little bulky. It's a little bit difficult to handle. So they have a handle to help you and wheels. So let's open this up and take a look at it and try to get some dimensions and give you an idea of the size of it. You can see pretty much here, this, this is pretty big. And when you get this, make sure that you have somebody help you with it. All right, not gonna lie, that was a handful. If you plan on keeping your box for whatever reason, uh, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> Uh, the best thing you could probably done is carefully cut the box open and take it out that way. But um, now that it's out, you can see there's a couple of features that don't stand out right away. And that's the doors. If you have a reason that maybe you loaded in your truck a certain way or the back of your car a certain way, if you need the doors to open from this side, you can reverse them. Uh, you can't you can flip them around to where they open just like a, a normal house refrigerator but you don't see that a lot on the coolers uh, big nice clasp these are positive latches you can hear very very stout uh, you get a rubber gasket that's going all the way around it's very let's say supple it's just soft uh, drain plug in the bottom I'll show you that when we get a little closer of course this will be the left side as indicated here um, which again, I'll show that to you in a little bit, a little closer. And that's for you changing the temperatures. And one side's gonna be bigger than the other. And the reason is, is because the compressor is on this side, it's hidden underneath. Again, an, another nice seal. And then you get your power supplies, which if you've watched my other reviews, it's the same thing that comes in all of them. And that is, let me go ahead and let this door open all the way. Um, the brick, the power brick, um, and your uh, 12 volt uh, power port. So here's the power brick that allows you to plug it directly into a household outlet. And then here is the uh, power port plug, which uh, is pretty long. This is long. And that's because, you know, some of these cars may have a power port in the back seat, but maybe not all the way in the back. This will help you get it to where it needs to go uh, inside your vehicle and plugged in. And then of course, a manual. The manual is loaded with information. Definitely pay attention to that. G give it a good read. Uh, and that's because of what's over on this side. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is the dimensions, what I get here. Uh, I'll also include a, a little link of what they list the dimensions as, because they should be pretty close, but um, all the way out to the handle, you're gonna need the space of about 39 inches. The cooler itself is just under 36 inches um, in length. And then as far as width, including the handle bumps on either side, you're about 23 inches, uh, just the top about 21. All right, so again, it does have a handle on it. As far as um, transporting this, it's got a couple of latches on either side to release the handle. Once it's released, you get all that extension. 
that allow you to pivot it and actually pull it without it hitting the back of your ankles. Um, I think that's a good idea. The same latches release it to go back in again. Very well engineered there. There are baskets that are inside. Again, lit up, got an LED here. There are baskets inside that comes out removable for easy cleaning. You do have a drain port on this side and the other side too. So it's just like a regular cooler when it comes to that. Uh, the one thing that a lot of people do uh, that I don't care for is they think that this cooler is something that could just be left outside like your normal old Coleman cooler from back in the day. That's not the case. This isn't a Yeti or anything like that. This is what I wanted to show you earlier was these indicators. And the reason they're there is in case you flip the doors around, you don't know what left is and what right is. It could be the exact opposite because of course it would be from that side when you're standing. And you can see another large basket, another LED light, and then of course your drain plug down there. But the left and right, the reason you need to know that is for the settings here. Um, and it tells you here, this is kind of an operation guide. It'll tell you in the manual a little bit more, but you can change what side you want to cool and what it does. So if you want, you can set it up to where the right side is a freezer, the left side's a cooler because maybe the left side in this case is bigger um, and you need a little bit more room. Maybe you don't have as much reefer stuff and you need more freezer stuff and you could reverse it that way um, to where the other side is. But both of these will go down to minus four degrees. You can make this one big freezer if you'd like to do that or one big cooler. There is a USB output here so you can charge your phone off of this as long as it's plugged in obviously. And you can also set your uh, settings for the uh, reefer unit or the cooler to run um, if you want it to be on max or eco mode. And then you can also set your shutoff, what this thing will turn off at when your battery gets to a certain point. So let's say you don't want your battery to run any lower than 11 volts. Um, once this reaches 11 volts and it reads like 10.9, it will shut off. It'll shut this off to protect your battery. Always a good idea, especially if you're out, let's say at the beach and you're running this thing, you don't want to come back to a dead car. The other thing I want you to take note of is it offers a bottle opener. I think that's kind of cool. But more importantly, if you want, you can put your solar directly into this. Yes, you can power this off of solar, but it's got to have, you know, be pretty decent solar to run off of it exclusively. But what I would suggest is if you want to, and this is only by suggestion, they make a battery for this. And that's what goes in here. This is just a little trap door that opens up. And I got the cord kind of in the way, so it's a little bit harder. But you see there's some prongs down here and you can put a battery in there. The thing is, is that battery, it's not gonna last very long. Um, it will work and it will keep it cool for a period of time. There we go. But honestly, uh, what I would do is hook up some sort of po portable power station, if that's the case. Of course, here's a handle to help lift. And of course, the other handle is right here that you would lift with. So as far as its size, you've seen the dimensions. And this is kind of a family thing. This would be the one that you would take for your whole family for maybe five days. It's a very big cooler. I know that sometimes on these cameras, it just doesn't come across that way. But um, even with the, you know, all the insulation that's built all the way around this thing, um, taking away from some of what we'll call the divider wall between the two compartments you can see here. It's still generous, very generous. I, I don't know. This is one of those that if you've got a big family or you've got a big event or you're going to be out for a period of time, uh, this might be the way to go for you. If you're looking for something a little smaller, of course, I've done reviews on those also. Go and check those reviews out and see if one of those smaller ones might fit the bill, but Bodega Cooler, this is a black one. I like the way that it looks, but it is a uh, spectacular unit. And I'm gonna be quiet here, which is awful hard for me, as you guys probably know, but you can listen here to the real compressor that's running. Not very loud, not as loud as I am. One last thing I wanna talk about, and that's the cooler being shipped to your home, they should ship it with the arrows up on the box. Just because it gets delivered to your house with the arrows up on the box doesn't mean 
hit road from California or wherever this may come from in the upright position the entire time. It could be that your driver had this thing upside down all the way up until the time he put it on your patio for the delivery. If you get one of these, first thing I want you to do is just leave it set. Now they say for six hours, there's actually a warning label on this that says leave it set for six hours. I wait, I let it wait a whole day. I don't want to take any chances and that's because it's a real compressor with real oil in it. And just like any other kind of motor, just like on your car, if you put your car on its side or upside down, you don't want to try to start it right away, especially if you just flip it right back upside, right side again, because um, the oil has got a chance to get to where it needs to go and you'll burn up your engine. Same way with this, you'll burn up your motor. So the links will be in the descriptions for this. I don't know if I have a discount link for this or not. Bodega's always running sales. Every time there's a holiday, I'm always getting notification of sales uh, to talk about it. So even if I don't have a discount code, check, you know, click the link. It'll take you to their store. You could take a look at what they've got. And it could be that you're going to get it relatively cheap, but this is a big unit. There's a lot of quality in this. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, we hope to see you out there. Bye.